So my viewers always ask me, how easy it is to work on these new Toyotas? They seem to have all this technology and all this advancement and now the DIY mechanic can no longer touch them. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to do most of the tasks and maintenance. In this video, we're going to focus, be focusing on the spark plugs replacement on the A25A dynamic force engine. Now, this doesn't apply to one car as this engine is used in hybrids and non-hybrids in a lot of the newer cars. And the procedure is all the same as long as you have an A25A or an M20A, like in the 2020 Corolla and up. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, welcome, consider subscribing to the channel, check out some of my other videos. If you are a returning subscriber, well, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. And without further ado, let's get to work. Small overview before we get started. Most of these spark plugs on these A25A are 120,000 mile or 10 year replacement interval. Some of them, and I say some of them, that's why I want you to check your owner's manual, could have a 60,000 mile replacement interval for the spark plugs or six years. So always check your owner's manual, the maintenance guide, make sure that at the miles that you're replacing them, they're actually required and you're not overdue. That's very important. Secondly, with these engines, when everything is going on with them, there's one thing that have changed. Please do not use aftermarket spark plugs. I've already seen some issues with spark plugs with this engine where the incorrect spark plug was used and it really caused a lot of problems. This is where things change. Folks, we're in the new era of engines, if you would, so sticking with the original parts is a big deal. Don't go to running to the dealership and buy it at a full price. Shop around, be careful from counterfeits, and I'll leave a video in the description on some general idea on counterfeit parts, but buy it from a dealership online, buy it from parts.toyota.com, whatever price you can get for the original, genuine, non-fake originals. Having said that, let's go remove the spark plugs. First things first, the beauty cover. By the way, folks, this is not just a beauty cover. If you notice, these engines are pretty loud, as you can hear here. That's because they have a direct injection and they have a high pressure fuel pump right there. And this cover actually keeps that noise down. So just thought I'd throw this one in. Let's grab this cover, pull it off. It just pulls off, has three tabs right here, comes right out. First thing is we're going to remove the four coils. One thing I'll say about the coils, for as long as I remember, Toyotas have always had 10 millimeter bolts holding the coils. Well, the A25A, they are eight millimeter. So I guess uh, not a big deal, just thought I'd let you know. So let's remove these connectors, which by the way are also improved and they're much easier to remove and they don't break as much as the old ones. So that's four ignition coil connectors disconnected. Let's remove the four eight millimeter bolts. There's that, let's pull the coils out. This coil, I've talked about this before, also has that rubber seal, that weather seal. Make sure that comes out with. And the coil kinda looks different, it's very skinny here. But otherwise, it's just a good old coil. There's actually a change in these coils and how they work. I'm not gonna get into it too much, but you notice it's a three wire coil, not a four wire coil. They removed some one wire that was a ignition trigger, but that's about it. But otherwise, this coil is very simple, non-interchangeable with the old stuff, because remember, three wire coil versus a four wire coil in the past. Let's remove all four coils. Doesn't matter if you mix these up, they're all the same. There's no reason to uh, put the coil exactly where you took it out from. So just take them out. Let's remove the spark plugs. To remove them, you will need a 14 millimeter socket. Now, this is a specialized snap-on one that is super expensive, doesn't make sense for DIY. In the description of this video, I will leave a link to my Amazon affiliate store where I did recommend one that is specifically designed for spark plugs that has the rubber inside to pick up the spark plug when you take it out. That is on a budget. You don't need to buy an expensive professional grade one like this one. The other one works exactly the same. So let's go ahead and remove the four spark plugs. But before we do, 
Many of my viewers on my previous spark plug videos have asked, do we remove this when the engine is cold, hot, and I always told you, warm. So run the car, be driving, let it sit for an hour or two, and then take them out. You don't want to take it out when it's super hot, because you could then damage the thread. You don't want to take it off when it's stone cold, because then, you, if this is an older engine with some carbon buildup, you're going to have issues pulling these spark plugs out, and they're going to get tight. Toyotas are not known, and especially this engine, is not known for stripping the threads and, and whatnot. I just thought I'd let you know, drive the car, park it, wait a couple hours, then tackle your spark plugs. So let's go ahead and remove these spark plugs. Let's talk about the spark plugs. This is a perfectly healthy spark plug. I want you to see how it looks. The back is, has a slightish white tint to it. The electrode inside is clean. And the threads are dry. Everything is nice and clean. This is a perfect, if your spark plug looks like this when you remove it, whatever reason, in replacement or not, if this is how it looks like, you're perfectly fine. If this spark plug is wet, you're gonna wanna investigate, is it wet with fuel? Is it wet with oil? If it is wet with fuel, and this is a cold car that you just started, pulled it in, shut it off for like less than a minute, you could see this wet with fuel. That is normal. But if this car was driven normally and you just parked it for a couple hours and then it was wet, then we might have issues. And another thing I want to note, this is how you know original spark plugs from non-original. You see that mark? It looks like a Y, it's actually not a Y, it's just a mark. That is an indication of original factory spark plugs. If you don't see this mark on the tip, this is not a factory installed spark plug. So that's how you know if, if you're buying one used, if these spark plugs have been replaced or not. Let's install the spark plugs. I always recommend this in all my spark plug videos, but I will say this one more time for this one. Do not use NICs. Do not use anything on the threads of the spark plug. Just install the spark plugs as is. But the most important thing is that you torque them to specification. If you don't have a torque wrench, I will also have some torque wrench recommendations on a budget on my Amazon affiliate store. So let's go ahead and reinstall the spark plugs and torque them to spec. All the spark plugs are torqued to 15 foot pounds. This applies to your 2.0 and the 2.5 dynamic force engine. That's whether hybrid or non-hybrid or your Corolla or any other model that has the M20, a or the A25A. Let's go ahead and install our ignition coils. Just gonna push them down, make sure that rubber seal that we talked about, the weather strip right here, is there and you didn't lose any of them. If you did, you're gonna have to get a new one or look for it. And before you go tightening these by hand, the bolts for the ignition coils, remember, this is a plastic valve cover. You might want to torque these to spec if you're not used to how, how tight is tight because you don't want to over tighten these. You could pull the sleeve out of the valve cover. The torque spec for these is 66 inch pounds, not foot pounds. The conversion comes up to 5.5 foot pounds. If your torque wrench doesn't go that low, don't go buying another one. Just take it to the lowest setting. I hope it, you do not want to exceed seven. That is very close to it. You're not going to cause damage at that point, but I don't want you going further. The torque wrench I have is a professional grade. It does have inch pounds. We have 66 right there, inch pounds. So I'm going to go ahead and torque these to spec. Now that they are torqued to spec, let's plug in our coils. And one thing about the coils, I know they're just coils before I forget. Toyota does this across the board. You will notice one gray connector, one black connector, one gray, one black. Now the harness doesn't allow you to plug the wrong one, but it's just a small detail. So you would know you're plugging in the right one, gray, black, gray, black. So you, let's plug those in. And at this point, all we got left is the beauty cover. Some people have a hard time installing this cover because it's a little flimsy and it's not rigid like the old ones. So the best way to do this is line up your opening for the fill hole first, then kind of move it around until the clips start and then push it down. There you go, simple as that. See, I told you it was not too bad. That's one job done and it was not even bad, life is good. So there you have it folks, 
This is not bad. This is very simple. I highly encourage you to do it. Don't be intimidated by these new engines. Many of the maintenance on them is still very simple. It's still a Toyota. They're not making this spaceship that requires special training and special procedures. Yes, certain things are, but usually those things are the things uh, most DIY mechanics didn't even tackle, even in old stuff. I hope this video was helpful and informative. I hope you learned something new. If you have any additional questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel. Check out some of my other videos. And until the next video, folks, may the Lord bless you and keep you. And you have yourself a wonderful day.